find the cross product of the unit vectors. So we have j cross i. So there is a trick to do this problem. So if you draw the following diagram, so i hat, j hat, k hat, you can use this picture to get the answer to this question. So what you do is you draw arrows like this, and then you draw an arrow like this, and then you draw an arrow like this. And with this, you become absolutely invincible. Because if you follow the arrow, so if you go from i to j, that will give you i cross j. Then you just follow the arrow, and it takes you to k. So i hat cross j hat is k hat. Likewise, you can do j cross k, following the arrows, j cross k. And it takes you to the next one, which is i hat. Likewise, you can do k cross i, and it takes you to the next one, which is j hat. However, uh, this does not give us j hat cross i hat. So what you do is you go backwards. So whenever you go backwards, like if you're going from here to here, what you do is you write the result, but you put a negative sign. This will be negative k hat. Boom. So that should be the answer here. So it'll be negative k hat. Let's see if I can type it in. So negative, and I think it should be here under vectors. Yeah, negative k, that should do it. And that's going to be this one here. The vector is going down because k hat is on the z-axis and it's length one. So negative k hat is in the opposite direction. It's also on the z-axis, but it's going down one. Just as another example, if you were to do um, i cross k hat, this would give you negative j hat. And if you were to do uh, k hat cross j hat, this would give you negative i hat. So super powerful, right? Super powerful technique. So if you follow the arrows, you just write the answer down. And if you go backwards, you also just write the answer down, but you put a negative sign. I hope this video has been helpful.